All right, hey Johnny from uh, Blindside Thunder. Uh, you're here with the Iron Monkeys. Uh, that's me, Gareth, and uh, Jake and Lloyd. Yeah. Hello. I don't think he's ever. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. So, uh, how are you doing today, man? Yeah, it's always good to be here. All right, sweet. So, you've got an up. Uh, you guys have got an upcoming album, a uh, hundred proof. Like, could you tell oh, yeah. us a little bit about that? Oh well, it's a straight ahead, hard driving uh, rock album coming to you for over the over the other side of the pond. And, uh, <laughs> can't can't wait to get it out. We got it set to come out in February 2015, but we kind of released a couple a uh, couple songs from it already. Obviously, Human Race and Tequila, just to kind of get a feel. You know, let everybody know what's coming down the pipe for them. Yeah, yeah, sweet. We were listening to uh, Tequila on the show last week, and it's proper, you know, yeah, like you say, proper hard rock and roll yeah. stuff. Yeah, there's nobody out there like that anymore, you know? Let, let's be honest. I mean, look around. I mean, I, I, I mean, I like, you know, I like everybody. I listen to everybody. I got, like, Dragon Force. I got, like, almost everything they've done. Oh, yeah. And, and the Dream Theaters and the Steve Vice. But then I've got, like, my Motley Crue stuff. Yeah. Hey, this is it for them. Who's who's going to take over? You know, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. why why can't it be us? Yeah, you need to continue the line of rock and roll. Is that <laughs> important? Yeah. yeah, rock isn't going to die any day yeah. soon. Um, no, not if not if Johnny Wild got anything. To say about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, continue it on. Yeah, continue the legacy. Straight. Keep it going. <laughs> um, you mentioned a couple of your influences there. Like, who would you say are your main influences? Uh, what, what you want, like guitar wise or like music wise? Because there's a lot of music. There, there is. Of, there is a lot of music. <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, I grew up. I grew up in in Ohio, which is in the Midwest, which is kind of like the farm country, you know. Okay. And uh, my, my dad got me. I was into Johnny Cash. Oh, Johnny oh Cash yeah, like Hank Johnny Williams. Cash. Yeah, Hank Williams. Uh, you know, Jerry Lee Lewis, The King, Elvis, Buddy Holly. You know, that was. That was my formative, you know, and I was just, you know, getting into it. But as that time went on, I found the value of ACDC and Ted Nugent. So, <laughs> nice. I mean, from there, it just went everywhere. Because back in the day, we only had the, uh, we only had one band of radio, which was AM. And so I had to listen to everything from Jim Croce to uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young and all them guys and Creedence. So it's very eclectic, you know. I listen to everybody. Uh, as far as guitar playing, you know, I wish I could be a Steve Vai. I do. I wish I could be a John Petrucci, but I ain't. <laughs> it's you know? all right, man. Very few people can. <laughs> no, and you know, I respect them. I hate them, and I respect them at the same time. <laughs> because, you know, if they went around, I'd be that much better. But, you know... Yeah, you you got to respect those guys that just give their heart and soul to Ingves and those guys, and even Herman Lee, you know, props out to him. But, you know, I'm just a straight-ahead player. I, I like, you know, I grab, rip it and rip it, yeah. you know? I mean, it, I, okay, I, I understand that the theory behind it and the modes and the scales and all that good stuff, but, you know, they go, Johnny, can you sweep? Oh, hell yeah, I can sweep. Give me a broom. I'll sweep the floor all day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, but in, in retrospect, you know, I play, I play for the song. I don't really write the the the, uh, the soul or anything around any one thing. I, you know, if it feels right, do it. You know, yeah, that's the music. we've all been there right late at night. If it feels good, do it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, I mean, uh, that's that's how I come across it. If it fits the song, then then that's what I play. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, so, what else are you guys in the band up to at the minute? Me right now? Well, I just got done opening a Corona, and it's uh, <laughs> but nine o'clock over here, so you you can tell what my day is going to be like. But uh, <laughs> you know, generally uh, today, uh, you know, what we've been doing is uh, I've been finishing up uh, the songs. Uh, we want to do about eight or nine for this one, and we've already got the, the two out, but we, we're fin I'm finishing up everything. I've got the new video coming out uh, for Tequila. That's going to be coming right around the thing. Uh, probably the end of next month All right, is when sweet. it's going to be out. So we'll have two official videos. We'll have the Baby Loves to Dance video that's on our YouTube, and you'll have uh, Tequila. Uh, obviously, we're thinking about doing another one uh, before... Uh, before the 100 Proof album drops and um, get ready to tour uh, starting around March. But we do have, I think, a show in Nashville coming up 
that it's going to be a big premiere out there. Um, can't wait to get down to Nashville, the home of the King, and uh, do our thing. But uh, me, uh, Double D, the bass player, Danny D'Alessio, the gunslinger, Michael P. Green, the other guitar player, and the animal, Jimmy the Animal Steel. You know, we can't wait to get out there. And uh, we want to get across the pond. We've had so much great press from you guys all over. I mean, not just one station, every station. God. Love you guys to death over there, and damn, appreciate everything you're doing for it. Sweet, thank yeah, you. Thank well, you. We, we like the music. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, hey, you know what? That's all right. Hey, you know, I'll buy the first round when we get over there. I guarantee you that. <laughs> yeah, I'll hold you to that, man. <laughs> Dude, you better. I, I, you know, I got. I have to get the pound or the quid or whatever we got to yeah. get over. I got to get something. I got to tape. I don't even know if my dollar will make it over there. <laughs> Uh, so um, you're saying about uh, touring, how you wish you could tour like more widespread. Um, if you could tour with anyone, though, like any band, um, who would it, like, or maybe a few bands, who would they be? Wow, well, you know what? I, I'd be honest with you. I would like to tour with Kid Rock. I think uh, I think the combination there. I'd, I'd like to t- uh, tour with Zach and the Boys from Black Label. Um, uh, I'd like to probably go back a little bit, do some Ted stuff. Ted News, I like to see him, and uh, it's it's really tough right now. It really is because there's nobody in. We just, you know, we're talking earlier. There's nobody in that genre that's really uh, doing the hard rock. You know, yeah. um, I, I you know I really like what Priest did, reinventing themselves and and, and re, redoing the uh, the British Steel on tour. I thought that was great. That was one of my main influences. I had that thing. I'm not going to tell you what format I had it on, but let me tell you, uh, I I played that thing till I was. I knew every lick in that 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 album. Man, that thing was probably one of the most influential albums uh, of the early '80s time period, late '70s. That really was that uh, the British Steel. Then you had the Van Halen coming out. And, you know, everybody talk about Van Halen 1 and 2. I'll tell you what the most influential Van Halen album was over here, at least for me, was um, the daggone uh, uh, Women and Children First. That, right. thing was, uh, that thing was phenomenal over here. So then you had the, the, the back end of Kiss. Then my crew started. So, you know, those are the big things over here that really, uh, really changed or formed me into where, what I believe was straight-ahead rock and roll. Well, they're good bands. So yeah. It must have been good times, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, come on, let's fire it up. <laughs> um, like moving on a little bit. Uh, how did um, Blindside Thunder get started exactly? Well, I'll tell you what. We'd. Uh, I've been. I've been playing for a long time and did a lot of. Uh, did a lot of covers. You know, Weekend Warrior stuff. And then uh, um, one time, uh, uh, somebody said, "You know, uh, why don't you guys start about doing something your own?" And I, you know, I thought about it, and then one day at practice, I came up with something, and we decided to go in the studio just to see what it was like, just to see if people were going to get into it, you know? Because we do have a little bit of a, a southern rock vibe to us with hard rock and little overtones of Metallica in there, you know, just yeah. everything, you know, eclectic. And uh, people got into it, and then we decided, hey, you know what? We're going to drop all that and shift gears in about four years ago. Me and Double D, we shifted gears and turned uh, Blindside into Blindside Thunder, and uh, we wanted to make something uh, something unique, something you could hang your hat on, and uh, that you could be proud of and say, you know what, you can hear exactly what I'm talking about. You can hear the vibe. You know, you want to make that stripper music for the housewife. You know? <laughs> so um, that's, uh, that's pretty much how it really came about, you know. Oh, it sounds like a really natural progression from you yeah. know cover band to original band. Um, so, any advice for other bands that are just starting out? Or? Don't do it. No, <laughs> um, you know, uh, it's a learn as you go process a little bit. You know, um, you got to uh, you got to want it. You got to want it more than anything else in, in the world. And I mean. It, it, not putting it before family, but boy, you know, sometimes you got to just say, hey, this right now is a goal. You got to set your goals. You got to create the buzz. You got to get into branding. You got to come up with something, a brand. Like we have the Rebel Revolution, Rebel Rock. And that Rebel Rock uh, it comes from not so much uh, being defiant, but saying, hey, you know what? 
I'm going to be a little rebellious this weekend. I'm going to I'm gonna fire up the grill. I'm going to invite the boys and girls over. We're going to turn up some rock and roll. We're going to put the grill on, and we're going to fire up some steak, pop some cold ones, and have a good time. Yeah. Um, that's what it is. I mean, you guys know it uh, just by being in the business you're in. Technology is taking over. You know, everybody's pushing for the extra nickel, dime, quid, pound, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you don't take time to step back and reflect on saying, hey, thanks, I got, I'm doing okay, you know. Um, the society around the world, in some instances, isn't as great as it should be. Yeah. And uh, we get all caught up in everything. We don't take time for ourselves. That's kind of where the, the rebel thing comes in. Slow it down a little bit. Go on the lake, you know. Look for those girls in the halter tops and the daisy do <laughs> cut off short. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, just have a good time, basically. Yeah. Which seems to be yeah. like your, your, like the theme of Blindside Thunder seems to be have a good damn time. So, uh, yeah, there's really nothing wild. wrong with that. Why why should you be uh, why should you be uh, looked down upon because you want to have a good time? You know, if you're out there busting your butt and you're on the road, and the only time we really get to have a good time, you know, everything is business. And when you get on stage, you know, I'm out there for, what, an hour, 40 minutes, whatever, and we're cranking up. That's when you're having a time. We're having a good time after the show where I get to meet everybody. And, you know, I'll sit down and talk to anybody about gear, music, drinking, whatever. I mean, it doesn't – we're going to change it. Well, that's what I'm saying. We're going to make a revolution. We're going to change the thought process. Because let me tell you what, there was nothing wrong with the 80s. There really wasn't. I mean – the attitude of the 80s, you know, the music kind of went up and down a little bit, but the attitude was there, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing. I mean, uh, it's all good in the hood with everybody. Yeah, nice. So so yeah. w when you're kicking back after the uh, show, what is a blindside thunder party like? What, like? what sort of shit do you get up to? Ooh, I don't know if I can let that out. <laughs> uh, I think... <laughs> I think I, I think it's national security over here. Uh, <laughs> well, I consider us allies and everything. Uh, it's kind of like the war on terror, you know. It's a uh, hundred percent wide open. I'll tell you what. Uh, you want to ask me some of the favorite alcoholic beverages? We'll just start there because this could be about an hour long right now. <laughs> but we'll start there. Uh, obviously, we like the Coronas. We like our tequila and margaritas. Um, if you're Dan, you like your coffee, Double D, man. Uh, and Mikey, they love the, the energy drinks and the, uh, and the coffee. Um, and you got to start with the women. They got to be hot. They got to be smoking. But you know what? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and every girl out there is a good-looking woman and hot. So you know what? We don't turn anybody away. We all come around, have a good time. Everybody's popping some cold ones, telling jokes, just having fun. Not out to hurt anybody, you know? Just out to have a good time. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Well, thanks for the interview, man. Um, I'm glad to hear there's still people like you, like waving the flag for rock yeah. and roll. Is yeah. Sure. Hey, anytime, guys. Anytime, man. You want? We can go. I can come back. We can do it longer if you want. I, matter of fact, I can get a flight out of LaGuardia, and I can be over there in what six, seven hours. <laughs> I was going to say we'd love to have I you mean, live on that. As long yeah, as somebody's cool. got a credit card for the bar or the pub, we're all set. <laughs> Yeah, man. well, the, our studio is right next to a bar, as in yeah, it's like, like part of the of bar, bar. <laughs> so it uh, sounds perfect for You're you, man. Wait a minute, wait a minute, where are you guys at? Uh, we were at uh, Kent in uh, the UK, uh, a place called oh, yeah. P5. Yeah, P5. How long is it going to take me to get there? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, um, you could probably... Well, say, you got a travel agent, let's get this thing worked out right now. <laughs> <laughs> i got nothing going on for the next two days, I'll get over there. And then we can have a, well, it's going to get ugly, but uh, <laughs> yeah. somebody's going to jail. That's all I'm saying. Uh, okay. cool. Um, oh, hey, I'll tell you what, I appreciate you guys supporting us. Anybody wants to find out about it, www.blindsidethunder.com. We're all out there 24-7. You get a hold of us, check out our merch. Join the Legion of Thunder. Join the Rebel Revolution. God, I'd love to have you all. Don't cost nothing. Just go out and hang out. Download some stuff. Check us out. Get us over there. That's what we want to be. Over on the other side of the pond, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Um, well, we'll be putting uh, this out on our um, on website, our show tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and also, we'll be putting out the links on the website for the entire yeah. website and that. So will yeah. you be uh, <laughs> listening to the Iron Monkey Radio? 
Yeah, I, dude, I got I got an iPad, and all I do is I punch up different things. I listen to every interview and every time our show stuff's on. Anytime we get the heads up that we're getting played, everybody in the band's on. We're always listening. Nice. We got our everything's all set up. Uh, our publicist just tells us where to go. We listen to every time we're played, or whether it be Australia, Brazil, you know, in the states, we're we're pretty much on. We don't shut down. I sleep for about two, three hours a night. That's only because I have to. <laughs> but cool. other than that, yeah. we're we're awake all the time. All right. Uh, well, would you just mind just for us, because um, you've been pretty awesome. Well, really cool. awesome. Uh, would you mind just saying uh, you're listening to Iron Monkeys Radio on P5 Radio, please? <laughs> what is it, B5? Uh, P5 Radio. Oh, P5 Radio? Yeah. You're listening to, what is it, Iron Monkey? Iron Monkeys, yeah. yeah. Uh, on P5 Radio. Yeah, cool. We'll, hey, we'll chop that. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Go. oh, yeah, go for it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, y'all. This is Johnny Wild from Blind Side Thunder, and we were rocking it out in the U.K.